friends, welcome back to the Tubo Biz channel. I am going to give you three tips today when you are buying a sugar cane machine. These are very, very valuable tips that are gonna help you to make the best informed decisions. Okay, there's three things when it comes to a sugar cane machine that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have, okay. First is, the kind of stainless steel the machine is made from. Okay, friends, when it comes to the body, the outside of the machine, there is some leeway, there is some grace in the kind of stainless steel that you get. You can get stainless steel that is cheaper for the body if that will save money, and you can simply put a lot of lubrication on it to keep it from rusting, okay? So the outside of the machine can be, uh, you can actually save money on that. But when it comes to the inside of the machine, what is inside is so critical. You wanna make sure, you wanna make sure the, the rollers have SS304 stainless steel, okay? SS304 stainless steel is very rust resistant. It is very, very much approved around the world by health departments, okay? So, friends, be careful because the look-alike of this machine from Vietnam, they're using SS201 stainless steel, which is a lower grade stainless steel and will rust easily, okay? So, make sure you have SS304 stainless steel, that the inside of the juice bin is SS304, okay? You wanna make sure that the filter, the filter screen material, the filter is SS304 also, okay? Food grade and high food grade, all right? So also, what you want on these machines, friends, this is very, very important because this basically will make the difference between the lifespan of being a year, for example, or two years on a machine before you have to do major maintenance. And that has to do with the bearings, okay? You see the bearings here? The bearing on the right is what the copycat maker in Vietnam and some in India are using this size. It's called 6206 bearing, okay? And look at the size of the bearing that we use. But not only is that the bearing, not only is it the size of the bearing that matters, but also where the bearing is made, okay? This bearing right here, uh, is a China-made bearing. The bearings that we use is a Japan-made bearing, bearing, and this will last you two times longer than this small bearing, okay? So these are things they don't tell you. You know, they, they, what they will do is make machines that look alike, okay? They'll make machines that look alike, and then you, they, they think you're stupid, and that you'll just assume that it's the same thing, you're getting a lower price, but you're actually getting lower quality, you're gonna get machines that will break, easier and faster and they're ripping you off friends so be careful i could make machines with this size bearings i could make machines with ss201 rollers i could make machines with really cheap stainless bodies but i won't do it you know why because you the customer deserve to have a machine that will serve you well and be your best partner in making money and also protecting the people that you serve juice to, okay? So other things on these machines that are very, very important is the motor. That's something that you don't see in the photos. Did you know that the company that makes the copy of this in Vietnam, do you know that more than 50% of their machines that they are putting used motors in them? And you know what? They sleep well at night. <laughs> they sleep well at night because they, they know that they can show you a photo on Amazon or on eBay or on Facebook. They can show you a photo and you don't know that there's a used rewound motor. And sometimes those motors have been used two or three or four generations here in Vietnam and they buy them. You know how they buy those motors? They buy them by the kilogram. Huge piles of the motors in their factories. And I have photos from the inside of their factories of massive amounts of used motors. And they just laugh at you, the customer. And they say, we make the same thing as David. In fact, we'll use David's name. We'll use David's part numbers, even his business name. 
tell you that they are we friends do not be gullible do not be ripped off be very careful when you're shopping for these sugarcane machines who you are dealing with because there are people who sleep well at night and laughing at you knowing that they're ripping you off so the other parts of the machines we have here first that you want to make sure that you have the stainless steel SS304 rollers, juice bin, and filter in your machine. You want to make sure that you have the extra large bearings, Japan made or German made or made in France or a place that makes super quality bearings and not copycats in countries like China that say with made with Japan technology, made with stolen Japan technology. Thank you, China, very much for what you're doing. When the Japanese went to the trouble to make the best bearings in the world, this bearing is made in Japan, and probably so. And yes, it costs more than these cheap bearings that the competition uses and laughs at you. This costs more. But what does that give you when you buy a sugarcane machine? It will give you twice or longer the lifespan of this undersized cheap bearing that you cannot see on the inside of your machine. So think about it. When you're making your decision to buy, don't buy just off of a photo. You find out if the motor inside is brand new. You find out if the bearings are truly made in a country where they are quality and not mass produced and not cheap to rip you off. So friends, make sure, the last thing when you're buying these machines is make sure you can communicate with the people that you are buying from. If you're only doing the chat, they're learning the English, they're learning how to chat, but when it comes to you having the issues, when you say to them, oh, I have a cracked roller, or oh, my bearing went out, or oh, I have a problem with my, with my, uh, my machine, they cannot communicate with you. Think about that. What is that worth to you, the vendor, in the future? Okay? So friends, today, some straight talk from me to you about the Sugar King machines. Do your homework. They are great companies in the world making great machines and there are companies that are laughing at you copying others and just being unethical but you know what today we're smarter than that and with our cell phones and our computers we have access to find out who is doing the best I want to thank you for tuning in today to the Tupovia's channel appreciate you being our subscribers here and also on Facebook and if you want to leave me a message in the comments below please do so and we'll get back to you